tough, but once inside, you'll discover it rocks. Tonight, John Pritzborn talks with the 69-year-old woman who lives inside. Most people living near Gladys Diley have no idea her house rocks, except when Gladys opens a window. Rock and roll. This 69-year-old can't get enough of it. Just look at her basement. Every square inch is packed and stacked with 45s. Well, I would say around 50,000. This is the kind of collection young people dream of, with original pressings of Elvis Presley's first songs, Buddy Holly, Chubby Checker, The Beatles. Gladys has been saving for years. Slim Whitman's my favorite. Really? Yeah. I'm running out of space, but I am not, I, I'm not going to get any bigger than this. And through the years, Gladys has gotten quite popular. In fact, she gets letters from all over the world. This one's from Japan. And most of these people want one thing, a 45 record from the 1950s, a rock and roll record. So now she sells and trades, advertising in music magazines. But what she really likes to do is get down to rock and roll. It invades my body, and it just gives me energy. I can put on a record, and the beat, it actually ener generates energy in me. <laughs> Limbo lower now. Young people call her the rock and roll queen, the local historian of bebop. Hey, Gladys, what's the name of this song? Snake-Eyed Woman. <laughs> it is so cool. But most of Gladys's neighbors know nothing of her rock and roll revivals. For years, they probably wondered, where's that music coming from? In Creve Corps, I'm John Pertzborn, Channel 5 Eyewitness News. <laughs>